Hi there, and welcome to the channel. I am Nikki Vershagan, and I am excited to share with you today about what is top of mind for retailers as they are managing and setting up their store networks. No matter who you talk to in the retail industry, anyone managing an organization is going to be obsessed with customer experience. So how can a retail IT team really ensure that customers can properly utilize the digital solutions and applications that they've implemented without slow connectivity, lag time, or any other network or Wi-Fi issues? After all, it's not like the amount of data being generated is going down for retailers anytime soon. We're going to go speak with Jeremy Whitico a little bit more about this at the National Retail Federation, retail's big show. Let's see what he has to say about the topic of SD-WAN for retail. Jeremy, thank you for being here. A little bit about yourself, like what do you do? Sure. My name is Jeremy Whitico. I'm one of the global business development managers for the retail industry within Cisco. Our focus is on building capabilities that retailers can take advantage of systemically across their entire organization. Fantastic. So we're seeing customer experiences are way important for retailers, right? It's on everyone's mind. So yeah. how are consumers actually dictating what IT teams are investing a lot of their money in? And what would you say is the network status quo for retailers now? Sure. Consumers are being bombarded by a litany of new experiences and capabilities and services that they can consume well outside of retail. And what that's doing is that's fundamentally changing their expectations in every aspect of their life. So when they engage with a retailer, they inherently expect that retailer to have a bunch of cool new services that they can take advantage of. And the reality is those services require a lot of data, a lot of connection back to the cloud, the data center, and other applications. So it's a whole new unprecedented level of requirements that they're putting on top of the enterprise network, right? Um, so from that perspective, that's making retailers take a step back and change how their infrastructure, how their applications all work together today. And one of the big challenges they have is they have a lot of legacy applications and infrastructure that they can't just lift and shift and overhaul in one night. So they have to find a path forward that lets them migrate to a next generation architecture while supporting what they have and delivering a lot faster and more frequently for customers at an innovative, innovative level. Right. It's no surprise that retailers want slash need their enterprise network data center and cloud capabilities to sustain all the data, customer experiences, and applications that are at work. So touching on this concept of a simplified IT team that's actually tasked with keeping up all these IT systems and the fundamental network, that's huge. So let's see what Jeremy has to say about prioritization as it comes to building up a store network. What would you say is the most important thing retailers need to keep in mind when they're setting up a store network? Yeah. So I think it's that connectivity back between cloud-managed applications and infrastructure and local presence and local compute and horsepower. So the ability for a smaller retailer with a lean IT to actually centrally manage all their stores and locations from one, one spot, push policies out to them on a case-by-case -case basis or holistically across the entire chain, having the flexibility to do that when it makes sense is really important, especially for lean IT. Yeah. So I think managing that and finding the appropriate balance, it's not all cloud and it's not all data center and it's not all edge. It is a really nice combination. So we know that the mobile experience is super key for customers, right? Yep. We want that omni-channel experience for customers. Whatever they interact with when it, in a store, e-commerce, you want that seamless experience. Yep. So now that we know that edge computing is so important for retailers, how would you say that the mobile experience, that whole mobile aspect, makes the importance of an SD-WAN that's working for your store that much more impactful? Yeah. Well, like we're doing at Cisco, we're focusing heavily on what experiences we can enable and engage both in and out of the store. So we're powering up our Cisco Connected store with SD-WAN, um, and our customers are coming into our stores with a whole lot more information, and like I said before, expectations on what services are available to them in a mobile environment. So they're bringing a lot more technology, a lot more bandwidth, and a lot more data requirements to the table and that can crush any network in a heartbeat especially as that ramps up 
exponentially in, in Black Friday and holiday season. So having something like SD-WAN in place lets us throttle the amount of bandwidth and prioritization we're giving to mobile-rich, data-rich, data-hungry applications and still deliver a great experience for the end consumer. All right, well, thank you, Jeremy. We were talking a lot about SD-WAN, how important it is for retailers to make sure it's integrated into their retail systems, right? So if you had to summarize, what would you say are the top three reasons that retailers need an optimized SD-WAN? Yeah, so in the hospitality world, it's the ability to um, prioritize bandwidth at a moment's notice. So in many cases, a hotel and or a restaurant um, or a retailer may actually want to prioritize the bandwidth needs of their customers in the store over that of point of sale. So SD-WAN lets them make those types of decisions and run in a, in a state where they're giving the optimal experience to the person that matters most, the consumer, while they're on-prem at their store. Uh, another one would be um, what we're doing in the banking, in the retail banking industry, um, and enabling uh, banks to actually change dynamically in a matter of days versus months the amount of bandwidth that they have in a specific branch so they can partner with fintech firms, uh, startups that are bringing new and interesting applications to the market that might need more bandwidth than they need in their traditional operations. So by changing the amount of time it takes them to change the bandwidth that they have available at that retail branch or retail bank um, location, they can test a whole lot more applications a lot faster and find what's gonna resonate with their audience most and beat their competition to the market. And then last but not least would be um, SD-WAN uh, for retailers who are opening new stores. Uh, we have a great brand that just opened 28 new stores for the first time on time in one year in their brand history. And they're a multi-decade brand. Um, and they were only able to do that because they used SD-WAN from Cisco. They were able to open up these stores using nothing more than the 4G card in the back of our router because MPLS and broadband were historically behind schedule. So they could open the stores, everything was done, product was in, they ran the stores off 4G and when MPLS and broadband finally caught up, they could apply their regular profile to the connectivity expectations they have of that store. Man, that's huge. And that actually allows the retailer to focus on their business itself, not necessarily getting everything not necessarily configured being up and running. Up by some technology along the way. Right, yep. absolutely. Well, you've heard it here. This discussion with Jeremy about SD WAN really touched on a lot of things. Namely, the relevance of SD WAN for folks of retail IT teams and people in IT teams outside of retail, actually. It's extremely relevant for retailers of all sizes that are looking to deliver connectivity for their customers and simplified operations for their IT teams. You want your infrastructure and your applications to work together in order to deliver on the customer expectations that, let's face it, inevitably are rising. Local edge computing and cloud managed applications allow retailers to prioritize bandwidth and scale their businesses a whole lot quicker, which is exciting. Uh, so with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this retail video. Uh, make sure that you stay tuned for when the next retail video is released. And until then, have a great one.